so we had we had fun with you know most all these guys now every once in a while and even dr death and even being good friends with us and you know when substances came into play ah, f it, i'll tell a story almost everybody's gone so doc gets a new van a custom one of those remember in the 80s it was big to get those customized vans with the captain's chairs and the sound systems and yeah tv had sometimes. A refrigerator tv everything in it he got this beautiful custom van he got once all the heels me bobby eaton dennis condry buddy landell carl fergie the referee um may have been one other person let's all take the oklahoma trip i'll get some boiled shrimp you know we'll, we'll make a trip out of it so me and Fergie are in the very back, right? There's like eight fucking captain's chairs. We're in the very back. We don't know what's going on, but Buddy and Bobby and Dennis and Doc's driving. They're sitting up more toward the front. And all of a sudden, you know, we notice that there's some kind of tension going on up front. Me and Fergie kind of trying to sleep. We're not really paying attention to what's going on. Make a long story short, Doc has overindulged in the Bolivian marching powder. The Tony Cocaine special. And he's starting to get grumpy, and he's convinced that one of the people in the van is dipping into his shit. And he's looking in the rearview mirror every five seconds. And he's fucking making comments up there that we can't really hear in the back. And I noticed that as he's getting more agitated, Dennis was the one told me about this later on. He's, you remember those old fucking glass iced tea and soft drink bottles had the big necks and juice bottles and everything. They were plastic. They were glass. <laughs> Dennis is putting the cap back on that and put it in between his legs in case he needs a fucking weapon. And they're all up there thinking, how the fuck are we going to stop Dr. Death if he goes off? And Doc pulls over on the side of the interstate Gets out, goes around to the back door behind me and Furby, Furby, behind me and Furby, Furby, behind Furby. me and Fergie, <laughs> Fergie is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> opens the door and rummages around in his bag. And huh. he was checking his cocaine supply again, like we could possibly. And so all the guys up front were ready. Do we all jump him at the same time and try to hit him in the head with a hammer? How are we going to stop this motherfucker if he gets violent? And then he settled down. And, you know, of course, me and Fergie get out when we get to the goddamn building in Oak City and don't know what the fuck has even gone on. And Bobby and Buddy and Dennis and I think, goddamn, may have been, may have been, was Ronnie West in the ref in the territory at that time? So anyway, they're telling us what happened. Yeah, he was looking for his cocaine. He thought we were stealing it. He was freaking out. He was having a moment. He was vibrating. We didn't know what the fuck we were. And then there was no way if we had to fight him, if any of us lived, that we could let him back in the vehicle. We were going to have to leave him on the side of the road. I mean, you know, everybody still thinks brawl for all Dr. Death, but, you know, sorry, fuck that. Everybody was scared of that motherfucker, and these were grown adult men that had been in goddamn bad situations before on purpose.